Brooke is recovering from very serious surgery. So you can keep your jibes and your um, legal nonsense. Well, the DA and I both need you to testify on our case. We, we flipped a coin to see who got to serve you, and, well, I lost. Listen, he's going after David for switching your pills. He said they disoriented you enough for you to kill Stuart. You're going to make me relive all that, huh? I have no choice, Adam. Yeah. See yourself out. Don't use him like this. This isn't personal. It couldn't be any more personal, making him relive those painful memories. And everyone deserves their day in court, even David Hayward. And every ambitious lawyer deserves to make her reputation by getting him off. Gosh, you are sounding like Adam's protective wife. Speaking of which, I wonder where Annie is. I don't want to fight with you, Liza. Maybe it's best that you leave now. How about this? Why don't we do Annie a big favor and we'll get all the ex-wives out of the house? No. Why am I not surprised? I'll tell you what. I'll watch your back if you watch mine. Annie doesn't know that Dad's alone at the house with Brooke. This is working out perfectly. You really think you can get Annie to come on to you and record it on your briefcase spy cam? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. I've got to go. I'll call you later. Oh, Jerry, you have to hear this. <laughs> okay, what? The congressman has invited us to a reception after our testimony at an embassy. Really? Yes, and the president might be there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, now, I said might. Oh, man. See, now I wish I'd voted for you. <laughs> well, I have got to be going, but I am looking forward to tomorrow. Yes, me too. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. It means a lot to Annie to be able to share her story with the rest of the world. <laughs> About my re-election committee. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Forgotten. All right. So the overtime sheet's been out for a few hours, and I noticed how you hadn't signed up for any. Very observant of you, Grasshopper. You know, you should consider a career in detective work. My point is, you always take all the OT that you can because you want that promotion so bad. Well, I figured it's unfair to take all that OT for myself. You're a rookie now. That's right. You need your fair share. What did you do in a talk? Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? Getting a promotion is huge to you. And I'm just a little confused as to why you're, I don't know, relaxed about it all of a sudden. I'm just trying to lower my blood pressure. That's all. Eat right, get some sleep, you know? Okay. Well, you definitely have some time now since the uh, fusion assignment is over. The undercover part of it is. What, what, what? You know, I'm gonna clock out, get some dinner. Call me if anyone rubs a bank or anything. So, uh, I didn't really understand that this photo shoot implied nudity or tasteful nudity. Oh, absolutely. But when, when they say nudity, they, they mean, like, um, uh, mood lighting or, or creative angles and that, that, that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, that too. But, I mean, I'm going to have to take off my clothes, obviously. Right. Well, may, maybe I'm, I'm allowed to come down and, and be with you or support you, you know? I mean, 
first day of work, and it's a big step. This is a big step for you, like a lifestyle change. No, I, I would love for you to be there. Of course, I'm just not sure if they allow outsiders. And besides, you have to work <laughs> All right, tonight. all right, come on, come on. you got to stop pulling this poor boy's leg, honestly. But there's no nudity? There isn't any nudity? There's no nudity. There's I'm not? sorry, but you are so cute. No, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. Is no, what no, I'm thinking. no, no, no. Like, well, how is he going to do <laughs> Have a so good I, night, you guys. Horrible. <laughs> and as for the coming along part, it's already fixed. I called Frankie hours ago, and he is happy to take your shift. Oh, so, I, so I can. I can come and watch. Yes, mm. I wouldn't have it any other mm. way. Okay. As far as the nudity goes. Yes. Maybe we can talk about that when we get home. See, now that I like. Mm. Hey, Angie, um, wait up. Are there any uh, updates on Damon's condition? I'm going to see him right now. Why don't you come with me? Let me make a few calls and get back to you. Anything you can do, I'd appreciate it. What, what's, what's going on? That was Damon's probation officer. Translation, the guy can get my butt thrown in jail if he thinks I screwed up bad enough. And? And it looks like Damon might, just might, catch a break. Well, I'm guessing that's a pretty big if. What is it? 